Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here. In this video, I want to show you how you can make a dual world effect or two world effect or, or something along those lines. And you've probably seen it in movies, uh, some effects similar to this, like Inception. Um, I think that was one of them. Or actually, Interstellar was actually another one where they kind of have these two worlds, uh, kind of one on top, one on the bottom. It just makes a really cool sci fi effect. And you can actually do this very, very easily with a couple drone clips and basically one effect, uh, one uh, default effect in Final Cut Pro. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So you can see we have these two clips right here. This one is a water clip and it's a nice drone clip flying over the water. And then you have this same clip, um, it's kind of just flying over the trees. And this is another drone clip that'll be really, really nice. And you can tell here we have, the skies are kind of similar, they're kind of sunset, kind of warm. Uh, but what really makes this effect stand out is the clear sky. This is gonna be kind of imperative. You need to probably at least one clip that has a clear sky on it. Um, and you also need to make sure that the two drone clips that you have, uh, have a, pretty much the same speed. So you can see this one if we play it, it's kind of going at a nice smooth fast pace and if we play this one over here, kind of doing the same thing, not as fast but close enough to make this effect work. So it's going to be very easy to do. The first thing we need to do is take our first clip, this is going to be our bottom clip, and we're going to take the, um, the clip and just drag it down a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in to fit it in here so you can see a little bit better. And we're going to go over our transform panel and our inspector. And we're going to take our Y position and we're going to drag it down. I'm going to drag it more than about 50% because I want a little, bit, uh, a little bit of water down here. Not a whole lot, but then a little bit more trees up top. So that'll look good. Play with it with your image to make sure you get the effect that you want. Then we're gonna take our top clip and we're gonna drag this on top of our water clip. And then we're going to uh, flip this around. We're gonna rotate it around. So we're gonna do a rotation here and type in 180 degrees to rotate it on its end. And here we can take the opacity down a little bit. We can right click and transform it and just kind of roughly position it. We're all, we can always change this so it's not gonna matter that much, but just kind of give us a good general idea there. Click OK, take our opacity back up, and now we need to feather this uh, horizon in. This is uh, a very sharp ended horizon, it looks a little fake. So we do that with our graduated mask. So just go into your effects panel, go to the mask section, and type in graduated mask, and you'll get that. Drag it over to your top clip, and you're gonna see this one handle that pops up, just drag that down a little bit, and then you want this handle right here, and you wanna drag it around to rotate it, to roughly about here. And this is where you can start to see kind of feathers in there. It actually kind of makes it look a little bit foggy, uh, but we're just gonna feather right there, and there we go. So that is basically the effect. So now if we were to play this, this is kind of the effect that we give, and it's a really, really cool effect. And then we can actually do some color grading. So here is our final effect. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick little Final Cut Pro tutorial. Head on over to letslounge.com. We got a whole bunch more tutorials over there, reviews, equipment, uh, LUTs that you can apply to your uh, videos just like we did in here. And uh, you have a lot of cool stuff over there. So thank you for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.